So what I want to do is show you how to do a few different types of problems using the equation of a circle and also using Desmos. So let's go ahead and scroll through some of these uh, in this assignment, in this equation of a cardinal book si assignment. Um, and I want to show you, I'm going to skip the first one. I think the first one's pretty straightforward, but let's look at the second one, okay? If we were to solve this using algebra, it would actually be pretty complicated. It would be kind of difficult to do. So instead of using algebra, what I'm going to do is I'm going, going to show you how to use Desmos, uh, which is available on the Virginia SOL. Um, and let me just show you how to use it and show you how to kind of help you solve for the right answer or to just check if the answer that you get is correct. So if I was to solve this with algebra, a diameter of a circle has n point seven six and 7, negative 4. What is the equation of the circle? So if I was doing algebra, what I would do is I would plug 7, 6 into each of these, check and see if it's the right answer. I'd plug 7, negative 4 into each of these, check and see if it's the right answer. Um, that would be one way to do it. There's other ways to solve it. That way it would be pretty straightforward. But let me show you what I can do in Desmos. So what I can do in Desmos is I can start by making these points. So notice there's no spaces or anything like that. I'm just putting these points on my graph, seven, negative four, okay? Take a look, um, oops, sorry, missed my comma there. You do need to make sure you have your comma. Okay, so, so notice I've got two points on my graph. Now, at this point, what you can actually do on Desmos is you can actually just go ahead and type in the equation just like you see it. So seven, x minus seven squared plus, um, Sorry, hang on. Plus y minus, or plus one squared. Is equal to five. Okay, and actually that thing right there is giving me some issues. Hang on, let me, there we go. All right, so. Notice, all I did was I took this, and let me kind of expand this out a little bit so we can see. I just took it and I typed in the equation and it graphed the circle for me, okay? Now, if I look at this, I notice that this is not the right answer, okay? Uh, it, it's not hitting both of them, okay? I could try another one. Look, the C option is very uh, similar to 25. Notice that looks like it's the right size, but it's in the wrong location. So if I were to get this one correct, and actually I'll just do this one for you, okay? So the rest of them have 25. So let's try uh, B here, minus six. No, that's not it. All right, let's try minus one. Yeah, look at that. It Notice how it hits my two points that were on my graph, okay? And I could kind of zoom in here. Uh, but you can kind of see what's going on on the graph. So what I would encourage you to do, and we're going to talk through some different strategies on each of these, is to go through, and if you need to, graph the different circles, or graph as much of the circle as you can, and then start plugging in different values. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So this one, okay, we're supposed to identify the graph. This is something that could show up on the SOL. You could honestly just graph this in Desmos and figure out which of these graphs seems to make sense with what picture you're seeing in Desmos. All right, number four. Number four would be a pretty difficult problem on its own, okay? Let me kind of clear it out here. So the point nine, two lies on the circle with a center of five, negative two. So nine, two is on my circle somewhere, right? So there's my nine, two. Then it also says that five, negative two is my center. So if I know things about the center, of, remember the center of the circle, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in here. Remember the minuses are always built into the equation. So five minus, or x minus five instead of plus five squared, plus y instead of minus two, we're going to do plus two squared, okay? Now notice that doesn't get me um, a solution yet, right? Um, but they're asking for the radius of the circle. So what I can do is I can start typing these things in, okay? So equals four squared. Okay, and make sure you get your squared, because remember, it's a squared, b squared, c squared. This is, here's our center. This is our radius squared. Okay, so I just grab, I just tried the first one, and it didn't work. But I could try other values in here. I could try the 2 root 53. I could try the 4 root 2, the 32, and see which one of these has, intersects with the point on the circle, okay? So that would be a way to use Desmos on that particular problem. Here's another one. That would be very easy. Read the directions, graph it in Desmos. Okay, here's another one. Graph it, check your, check your solutions. Okay, uh, this one takes a little bit more work. This one might be one that you kind of have to think about. Think about 
Um, you could, I mean, again, I would probably graph it on Desmos, start counting some boxes, and, and you'll get close to the answer. And you might have to plug these into Desmos as well just to see what those are uh, in decimal format. All right, uh, this one you could plug into Desmos. Um, and same with this one. It would take a little bit longer. Um, but if you, know, um, if you know where the center is, Okay, and you know how to plug that into your equation, that's gonna narrow your options down a lot. Um, and then from there, you can just kind of solve it out by graphing on Desmos. So look, Desmos is not a cure-all. You can't just do everything in Desmos. But for this particular topic, you can do a lot of different things, or you can check your work on Desmos if you need to. Desmos does provide a lot of tools, and if they're giving you the tools, then it would be wise to know how to use those tools and help us be able to solve problems. So I want to work through some of these problems, show you how to use Desmos on this particular topic, because it's maybe not something you'd ever considered before using. So hopefully this is helpful. Um, feel free to comment if you have some questions or if you want some clarification um, or if you need for future help on Desmos. So hopefully this is helpful, but this has been using Desmos, uh, solving equation of a circle using Desmos.